Holy crap. What? Your torque converter volts are finger loose. Somebody's had this engine out and they didn't get it back in straight. So, there's a story to, to be told here that we're not being told. Turn it with your hand. That's your torque converter bolts. Well, I tightened it. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Ubi's Garage, the dumbest automotive channel in all of YouTube, and we are in my Mercedes G55 AMG that I bought for only $22,000, making it the cheapest G55 AMG in the USA, uh, but it has 222,000 miles on it and uh, a whole boatload of problems. The first one is very obvious, you may not be noticing right now because of the image stabilization, but uh, this thing's shaking really bad. It has a horrible horrible driveline vibration uh, and we're almost to the wizard so I'm actually happy that I made it I was thinking I may start on a flatbed in the beginning of this video but uh, uh, whatever is falling apart hasn't completely fallen apart yet in addition the engine seems to be sitting at a weird angle like a collapsed motor mount not sure if that's related probably not but those are my only two really big concerns which isn't that bad considering how cheap this thing was twenty two thousand dollars and it has two hundred and twenty two thousand miles on it the rest is all minor little things starting with well i don't have a check engine light but i do have uh, warnings for lamps and when i filled up with gas today i thought i was almost out of gas but i'm not it's just the fuel gauge is very close to r and it's staying there it's stuck there so the fuel gauge is stuck so it may be wounded but it's a g-wagon for like a used Camry it's ridiculously cheap and you really can't tell the difference between this one and a G-Wagon that costs well, a hundred thousand dollars they really didn't change very much from when this was made until the last couple of years so, well it has depreciated though the prices to repair this G-Wagon have not depreciated so I could be in for a rude awakening at the car wizard especially since I want to go above and beyond fixing this G-Wagon and uh, do a few other things we'll see what the wizard has to say <laughs> Wizard! All right, I'm glad you're here, man. You're glad I'm here? Yeah, good you're to see you. It's he's, been a while. He's happy to see me. Yeah, I got this thing running. Oh, yes, our friend Rob. Mm -hmm. More shaming. It's alive. It doesn't have any oil in it. It doesn't have any oil in it. Yeah, he's been overheating. How can it cool itself through an oil cooler with no oil? So he's let this thing almost run out of oil, which means he's probably never changed the, like, I guess here's the date on the oil filter, right? Is what that what that is? Say? Yeah. Five of 17. So three years. Three years ago? Wow. Three years on a 930 turbo engine, basically oil change. What, what, a, what a fool. Wizard, look at it. It's a 2003 Mercedes G55 AMG. Wow, this thing's sweet. It is very sweet. When we were in Scottsdale last, I saw like 12 of these things. Yes, it is the Scottsdale Camry, I suppose. Uh, but this one has 222,000 miles on it, which is almost like Camry miles. It's yeah, pretty unheard of. Did you yes. say 222,000? 222. Yeah, I bought it for 22,000 and 222,000 miles on it. Yes. Wow. That's yes. a lot of miles. A lot of miles. It, it drives uh, pretty well. It, pretty well? It, well, it has a really, really bad drive shaft vibration or maybe a drive shaft. I don't know. It's vibrating real bad when I go on the highway. Wow. Uh, fuel gauge doesn't work. has a few lights on, like not check engine or ABS or just like the warning lights for lamps and things and among other stuff but cosmetically look at it it's it's very nice it's nice it yes is. it really is clean presentable you'd have no idea this was a twenty thousand dollar g-class you'd think it's a lot more expensive yes mm -hmm. definitely which is what i like to do and it has some aftermarketness to it as well rear facing third row wow rear entertainment uh, backup camera, you probably can't see it's too dark because it's tinted. And it has a airbag for when you get into wreck. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the headliner's coming down. <laughs> you don't do those. No, but there's somebody here in town that does. So you are in a very, very good mood. Yeah. Is, is there any particular reason you're in a good mood? Well, it's today's payday. You, well, you pay your guys on Friday, I thought. Oh, no, not for them. For me. Okay. We have... Four of your cars done. Four? Yeah. Four, okay. Well, the CL65, yes? Yep, that one's all done. Okay. There's a ticket written on it, it's ready to go. Yeah, valve cover gaskets, the flex discs. The There's motor mount, transmission mount, we got ah. your door where it would open again, we got the wrap peeled off. Okay, well, that's probably the surprising one, yes? 
Yes, it's alive again. So my Bentley Turbo R that has been here for six plus months, you're telling me it's done? It's done. You even tried to knock some of the dust off of it, I see. A little bit, but I did leave a spider web for you, a couple of them inside the interior. So you're telling me this unending project has ended? It's done. It drives great. There's a lot of work put into this thing. There is. So what else is done? The 300 SE is done. Okay. So you're saying the long laundry list of chores on this car done as well. Yes. We did fuel injector seals, the distributor plenum, we did motor mounts, transmission mounts, flex discs. We did a whole slew of things to this car. That's a lot of stuff. So now I have cosmetic things to do. I need to get rid of these clear corners, paint these bumpers, and do something about these wheels. Yeah, the poor wheels look bad. Oh, nasty. Yeah. Okay, so that's three, and four. The van. The van. The van's done. <laughs> the van's done. So, the VCR situation, yes? Got the head cleaner and cleaned it out. Thank you, all you people in the comment sections that are VCR experts. I never knew that he had uh, that many VCR experts on uh, my subscriber time. base. That was, that was a lot of help there. It's been a long time since I messed with one of those. Yeah, so the van too. And we got the serpentine belt and the tensioner replaced. We got an idler arm up front. We got your rear brakes fixed gone through all the things you want to done. Well, that's really impressive. Four cars. So that leaves, I guess, two that are unfinished, but mm -hmm. uh, progress on those as well? Yes. Like the Woody? Yes. My 51 Ford Country Squire, where we've done some period hot rod stuff to it. Uh, looks like, looks like you have it all hooked up, huh? Yep. We've got a throttle linkage. Okay. We're finishing up on the choke, but we've got the throttle figured out. Nice. All the electrics are done. So the whole rewire in the interior, it, it is all back together. Yes, the radio works, the wipers, the headlights, turn signals, heater, blower motor, everything works. Really? So it looks like it's just, it'll crank over, huh? Yeah? It will crank over, yes. Okay. We're almost there. You're very close. Yes. And then you added the thing, right? Yes. The thing? Yes. Bluetooth. Bluetooth radio. And it goes through the stock speaker hole, yes? Yep. It has two kicker speakers and a small MTX Bluetooth amp all inside the dash. You can't even see it. Well, I guess we have to do it, don't we? Yes. There it is. Right. It's the, you, you like the beat, don't you? Yes. So that's the only music I really listen to all day. All you know, the time. That's yeah. it. Yep. How about that? So we're winding it down on the Country Squire. You have the engine in my Beck Spider. It's Subaru powered. Looks like you're uh, starting to figure some some stuff out. This is the wiring harness, huh? Yep. And we got it inside this box. We're going to start doing the wiring, the, the accelerator pedal, a whole bunch of different things like that. So pretty. Well. Good timing for another project, I suppose, huh? It is. You wanna get this G55 on the lift? Let's do it. Listen to that side pipe wizard. Wow. It's mean. It sounds, like, yeah. sounds like something American, really. It does. Huh. There is one concerning thing with the engine though. Here, give that hood a little jiggle. It needs some help. There we go. So you notice something a little, well. Oh my God. Yeah, a little, uh, uh, it, 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 it's got, yeah, it's got kind of a slant to it. What in the world happened? It's, uh, I don't know. You could put a marble here and it would just roll off. I don't know, it's definitely, it's definitely crooked. Something's not right. Something has really gone wrong with the motor mounts or I guess we can find out and put it on the list. There's a lot of driveline vibration, but I don't think it's from that. And surprisingly, it actually idles really smooth. You know, because normally I would think collapsed motor mount, but it idles so smooth. So why is it tilted? I think it has a collapsed motor mount and that can cause vibrations in the driveline because that of the geometry's not straight anymore. Yeah, but otherwise a clean southern G-Wagon doesn't have any of the normal leaks up top that I would see with this engine. I don't see anything leaking really. No. Amazing. Yeah. Let's get it on the lift. Up she goes. How are you working around the side pipes there? Easy. Just go over to the frame. Oh, it's in there. Very deep. Yep. 
Let me see how it's going to go here. All right, is it balanced? Yeah. Oh. Uh-oh. Don't use that to check it. Uh, that, that's not supposed to be like that. No. Well, that's not really protecting anything, is it? What the? There's some bolts missing in here. Okie dokie. That's not Scottsdale certified. <laughs> no. Wizard, I think we get to say our favorite word a lot today, don't we? This is a beefy vehicle. Beefy. Look at this skid plate here. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is one crazy thick plate there. Neato. Solid front axle. This reminds me of Land Rovers. Yeah. And old Land Cruisers, too. Yeah. Uh, a little greasy on that side. Yeah. It's probably got a hub leak. Like, there's a, there's a seal all the way around this ball. Oh. Common. Very common. These yeah. aren't leaking that bad, though. It's not like they're dripping all over the place. It's no? Just, I probably wouldn't mess with them with this many miles on it. Okay. There's a little bit of a leak, but it's coming from your drain plug. But other than that, I don't really see... Uh-oh, uh -oh. there's something there. Oil cooler line? No. It's coming from up there. Oh, above it. Probably your power steering pump. The last uh, AMG wagon that I bought, I exploded the power steering pump doing a donut. Yeah. I, I learned my lesson. Yeah, you did. So your power steering pump has got a leak and it's spraying all over the gearbox. Oh, hello. Yeah, you need a new power steering pump. We're going down here. Now this does not look like any other Mercedes that uh, exists. That U-joint's bad. Yeah, that surely is not my vibration, though. It's Probably gotta be not. something bigger than that. Look at the engine, it's so collapsed. This looks like a rear main seal. Let's pop this little cover off and take a look. Okay. If it is, it's a very minor rear main leak. Holy crap. What? Your torque converter volts are finger loose. Somebody's had this engine out and they didn't get it back in straight. So, there's a story to, to be told here that we're not being told. So this... Turn it with your hand. That's your torque converter bolts. Well, I tightened it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not going to stay that way. Oh my goodness. Just, uh, you know, we can cinch it down and everything will be fine, right? We're definitely going to have to go through and check all of those. That could make a rear main seal leak when it's all not tight together. Yeah. So messed up. <laughs> Man. Well, here's your transfer case. Yeah. What is this? It's a cross member. It's so beefy. Beefy, yes. Yeah. It's had some different springs put on it. Right. Well, I was thinking about making it taller. taller? Giving it a little bit of a lift, yes. And fitting some big tires to it. I guess we could. Mine as well. We're going to have a lot of stuff apart on here anyway. Yeah. What is going on up there? It just doesn't look natural. It looks bad. I see a gap. That's why I think the engine's been out. Mm. See, there's no gap here. You come over to this side. I can put my screwdriver all. I don't understand what's going on there. So the engine's been swapped, you think, maybe? 222,000 miles? It could have been swapped or it's been out for some reason. I don't know the story, but... They didn't do a very good job. No, especially with the torque converter bolts. Almost completely back themselves out. So, is that my vibration then? Very likely. I was going 80 miles an hour down the highway with torque converter bolts just slowly falling out. <laughs> On an engine that's, uh, it's, 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 it's very confu- yeah, yeah, exactly. Huh. I think it's supposed to be a little bit crooked for the way the mounts are, but not as much as it is. Right. Something's not right. Okay. Well, look at this. Yes, Dang. that's a radius rod. Wow. Good brakes. Yeah. Nothing loose there. And it doesn't appear the uh, fuel sender for the fuel level that's stuck. Mm hmm. Doesn't look like it's uh, something you reach. This doesn't look very good. That's speaker yeah. wire. Huh. What does that go to? Does it go to these it goes backup to this cam sensors? Camera. Camera? Yeah. But 
So I imagine the tank has to be dropped with the way this works to... To check the fuel gauge sender, yeah. Yeah. But you look at it from underneath, it looks a lot more like a, like an American pickup truck than, say, a Mercedes. Yeah, it really does. That's what makes the G-Wagon different than anything else they make. It is a truck first, for sure. That what definitely is... needs replaced, though. Well, you were about ready for another project, right? Yeah, well, we got one. I didn't realize I had bought uh, what I bought. It's kind of amazing that it actually moves as well as it does, considering considering that. My mind's not on this. My mind's on the payday. It's about to come. Oh, boy. You're shopping for Van Gogh? Yeah, I'm getting some ideas for Van Gogh painting after I get this big payday here. I might be in the in the market for one. <laughs> and it's uh, kind of got the right face for that G-Wagon. Yeah, no kidding. A little warped and <laughs> screaming, yes. Yeah. It definitely is warped. It's called the scream, right? Yes. Lovely. Oh, I see you've uh, laid these out very neatly. Yes. Huh. Look at all those numbers adding up. Cha-ching, cha-ching. Oh, yes. So this is the Mercedes. And it's, uh, oh, okay, and uh, the van, one page, that's good, that's, that's more like it, the, whoa, <laughs> what's this one, this is the, that's the Turbo that's R, that's the Bentley Turbo R, there's not too many things on this, that's the, good, the items themselves are expensive, oh, 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 uh, okay, and the 65, mm -hmm. that's quite, uh, uh, quite a list too, yes, ah, there's the grand total. Ah! Oh. <laughs> well, uh, you hit me all at once there, wizard. Well, I'm not done hitting yet. <laughs> uh, I have to decide which one I'm going to drive home. But any, okay, let's, uh, let's go to the G55, yes? Okay, so the drive shaft is going to have to be replaced for the U-joint. I checked on it. The U-joint is not even an item you can buy. They sell a shaft. 750 bucks for that. A sh well, that includes labor, too. That's quite a shafting. Yes, yeah. next. Okay. Or the shafting's not over yet. Huh. The motor mounts, the labor just to replace them, parts and labor is 700 bucks. Six-hour job. They didn't look that bad. No, they but just... we need to find out once we get it apart what's going on there. Uh, see it, what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The rear main seal and the torque converter bolts. We're going to just remove the transmission. It's actually not very labor-intensive to see if there's any damage. To see if the rear main seal is leaking, we'll go ahead and replace it then. That's 500 bucks. And it could go up from there. I don't know what's all been done inside of there. What's inside? Yes, all those loose bolts possibly leak. Yep. But removing a transmission, I guess, is not too hard on those because it's not that expensive. Nope. Nice that it's a truck, I suppose, rather than a front wheel drive something or other, right? Right. Okay, so that's a bit of good news. I was worried about that one. Next. Fuel tank cinder, it's 550 bucks. <laughs> a little Drop hard. the tank, replace it. Yeah. Okay. Power steering pump is expensive on this vehicle. Uh. For a reman one, you can't even get a new one. Six hundred bucks parts and labor to replace the power steering pump. Boy, oh boy. Okay. Charming. You wanted a lift kit? Yes. About three inches or so. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Three inches is always the optimum amount, I guess, for some people. Moving on. Yes. Four grand. Parts and labor to do. I guess that would make sense for some good shocks, some springs, the labor, the tires. Mm -hmm. So four thousand dollars to make it a little more modern looking. But I'm not going to put like big twenty twos on it. I like that it has a small diameter wheel on it right yeah. now. So that just means it has like a big beefy off road look mm -hmm. to it. You know. I haven't included the tires price yet. Oh. That's another thousand. Oh yeah, yeah, maybe a little less than that, but okay. Yes. So we've gone through the whole list yes. and we've exceeded what everything we've done here. Okay, seventy five hundred here. <laughs> Eighty one hundred dollars. <laughs> so I got fifteen thousand dollars from the wizard. Yeah, add all this up and we're at fifteen grand. We're getting close wow. to that Van Goo. Van Goo. Van Goo. Van Goo. Van Goo. I'm about to goo something. I'm yes. Gonna scream. <laughs> well, you're gonna have a good Christmas, wizard. Yeah. Goodness. Um. Yeah, remember remember the, the, the 5th of November, I suppose. Yes, okay, yes. well, uh, I'll pay for these, and I guess... Well, I guess I'll take the Bentley home. Yeah. Might as well. I haven't driven it in so long. Yes, the Turbo R. And whenever you get the Bentley to the detailer, just have them call me, and I'll cover the bill. 
Oh, well, thank you. Fifteen thousand dollars will cover a two hundred dollar detail. That's that's so nice of you. Yep. Okay. Um. Well, before the lift kit happens, let's see what's going on with that transmission. I suppose. Yes. Yeah, we definitely need to get that and see what happens. Make yeah. sure it's not like just absolutely ruined. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, this is an expensive day. Um, yes. Um. Now you know why I was in such a good mood. Yeah. Uh, clearly. Yes. Well, thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs>